Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here, and welcome back to another crypto video. And today, I have an extremely important update for you guys. Very often, when I say this, I look at the comment section and people laugh at me, saying, Oh, are you calling this an urgent update again? Yes, I am. If you are watching my channel every single day, and you're not in profit in the crypto space, there is a very big problem, but I have made it my number one priority to make sure that every single person watching my channel regularly will become rich if they aren't already. For example, the video I posted about three hours ago, I was telling you guys a couple of altcoins that I'm buying, but more importantly, I told you guys that right this freaking second during the video, I was going long on Bitcoin, XRP and Ethereum. Now, three hours later, huh? Three to four hours later, look at where we are, huh? I'm telling you guys, I'm buying Bitcoin every time it gets into this area. I'm buying XP every time it goes back to $1.07, which it did over on Bybit a little while earlier. It's looking amazing. Look at it a couple of hours later, huh? Look at that. Even Ethereum picked back up the pace within a couple of hours here. It's juicy. And you might look at this and think, hmm, this isn't too crazy. This isn't too amazing. But guys, I trade with leverage over on Bybit. So some small gains like this right here can actually turn out to be as a quick little profit about 10 to 12 percent. Same thing for Ethereum. Just in the last couple of hours, for example, we could have made ourselves 20 percent gains because Ethereum and Bitcoin I trade with 15 times leverage. And let's look at Bitcoin, for example, here again. 25% or so profit on our Bitcoin trade in just a couple of hours. You guys need to realize, if you're trading with, for example, $10,000 and you're getting 25%, it's 2,500 bucks. If you do that three times, for example, right now we made 7,500 bucks. But I trade with a lot of money. But uh, I'm always trying to show you guys the, the trades that I have open on Bybit because that's a journey with only a couple thousand dollars we're trying to get to. I don't know how much money we're trying to get to with that account. Um... And I basically do that to show you guys that it's possible for everybody to make it big in trading. You don't need a freaking huge amount of money to start off with like some people think. But again, that's besides the point. I hope as I have some uh, some very scary news, but I guess critical and, and, and I don't know how to call it. I guess crazy news. So just quickly show you guys the trades here that I have open still. These are just my normal trades for Bitcoin and XRP. But yes, they are with leverage, as I've told you guys a couple of times right now, as I think they'll be juicy, just keep open. But again, that is just me. And our XRP trade is going joyfully as it currently stands, and I'm enjoying every single point. Cut out there for a little second. Not exactly sure what that is about. Maybe I should check my computer to see if there's actually room on their left. Sometimes I have that issue. Uh, but let's quickly discover and discuss what is going on right now. The house just passed, and I, I warned you guys about this yesterday, just passed the $1 trillion infrastructure bill with crypto tax for Biden's approval. So the infrastructure bill was first proposed by the Biden administration aimed at primarily improving the national transport network and internet coverage, which again looked like a good thing. But now things have really turned to the S word, the shizzers. The U.S. House of Representatives passed the $1.2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure bill if signed into law by President Joe Biden would enforce new provisions in relation to crypto tax reporting for all citizens, which in short words would be awful. Like minus 10 points for U.S. citizens. This, guys, will be awful for U.S. citizens. There's no way about it. It's going to be awful. The infrastructure bill was first proposed by the Biden administration, aimed at primarily improving things. However, the bill mandated stringent reporting requirements for the crypto community, requiring all digital asset transactions worth more than 10000 to be reported to the IRS, which I think that's actually one of the least crazy things because I kind of get that if you're sending a lot of money around that the IRS wants to know. Now, as Cointelegraph reported, the bill was first approved by Senate on August 10th with a 69-30 vote, which was met with a proposal to compromise amendment by a group of six senators, Pat Toomey, Cynthia Loomis, Rob Portman, Mark Warner, Kristen Sinema, and Ron White. According to Toomey, the legislation imposed a badly flawed and in some cases unworkable cryptocurrency tax reporting mandate that threatened future technological innovation. Now, point being, the House of Representatives passed a controversial infrastructure bill to President Biden after securing a win of 228 to 206 votes. And despite the lack of clarity in the bill's verbatim, 
The infrastructure bill intends to treat the crypto community software developers, transaction validators, and node operators similar to brokers of traditional institutions, which basically leaves them to have all the information from you because they got to, you know, come along with these proper tax requirements, even though they don't have it. For example, if you run things, you basically will not know who's using your network, so to speak. Yet you will have to know because you have to report all their names and everything that they're doing, and you have to potentially arrange some tax stuff for it. But it's most importantly, KYC, which is know your customer, which is that you need people's IDs. Now, Meltem said on Twitter, the bill is unconstitutional and inherently anti-American. Private citizens have the right to financial privacy and financial freedom. Absolutely shameful to see this. And I, I couldn't agree more. I'm not exactly sure if it's unconstitutional because, of course, I don't know about that. Uh, I'm not a U.S. citizen like that. What I do know is that it's a freaking problem and not enough people are talking about this right now. It just passed. That is... No. Oh. Um, I'm in a little bit of an... I, I don't know how to say it. Like, I'm in awe of seeing this happen. As a repercussion, the inability to disclose crypto-related earnings will be treated as a tax violation and felony. Legal experts recommend amendments to the infrastructure bill that considers failure to report digital asset transactions as a criminal offense. Abraham Sutherland, a lecturer from University of Virginia School, cited concerns over the U.S. government's decision to blanket term crypto sub-communities as brokers. Quote, it's bad for all users of digital assets, but it's especially bad for decentralized finance. The statute would not ban DeFi outright. Instead, it imposes reporting requirements that, given the way DeFi works, would make it impossible to comply. Which basically means every person operating something like that, jail. <laughs> or at least there they got some felonies on their name, the way that I see it right now. You trading in NFTs? Jail. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of feels like that's the way it's going to go. You're sending some money around and it became worth more? Jail. <laughs> now, okay, I'm, I'm messing around a little bit because I don't think it's going to be that heavy, but it's going to be ridiculously stupid for U.S. citizens. For the rest of the world, it doesn't matter too much because this doesn't apply to you. However, of course, the way that the rules are made in the U.S. has some pretty big involvement, or sorry, guys, pretty big consequence on the rest of the world. And we can see that this article, I think, is pumping up in popularity as well, huh? Yeah, so people are going to get shocked by this. This is, this is a... It's a little bit of a banger, everybody. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this news, and I'm trying to do this as swift as possible as well, make sure you press that like button. I try my best to make these videos as informative as possible and as quick as possible too. Whenever I see an opportunity, I try to get to it and give you guys the news. So make sure you press that like button for that type of stuff as well. Uh, but here's where I actually found the article on Crypto Panic just now. And I just looked at all the people's responses. Even though it starts in 2024, by the way, these changes are not there straight at the bat. It'll take a very long time to actually get these changes away, which is ultimately the problem. It's not for 100% that the rules are actually in place. For a very good part, it's also the fact that they can't go away anymore because changing rules takes a very long while. And the fact that this is going to start things up, it just could have some very dire consequences that nobody would really be interested in. Now, by the way, if you want more information and just to talk to me for example you might actually want to join telegram a link for that is down below i made it to make sure that i can share whenever i have some good opportunities for for example uh trading like for example whenever i find some new juicy coins to buy i'm going to share it over in there um and whenever i just have some information that i can't really put in a video i'll share it over there so i, I definitely think it's worth it to to join it and you could have also seen me rub people's faces for calling me out a couple of hours ago, telling me it's a stupid idea to buy, and right now us being a profit, because at, it, as it currently stands, the market is, uh oh, well, there we go, the market is completely green, but by the time I get the video uploaded, which might take another hour or so, the market might have turned around a little bit, but right now I'm uh, I'm definitely happy. Not exactly sure what that was all about, um, but all right, let's move on. So let's quickly see what else we got here. I think the computer is uh, taking a little bit of a poo-poo on top of its head right now, on top of its own head. I'm not exactly sure what that is all about. And I also need to make sure I don't forget the timestamps. I hate that so much. But all right, there we go. There we go. All right, so uh, Binance apparently, actually the XRP withdrawals for Binance were down for a little while. Not exactly sure what happened, why or how, to be honest with you. But it just said here, sorry if this caused some inconvenience. XRP withdrawals through the XP network are currently suspended due to internal maintenance. You may set reminder on the withdrawal page to get notified once it resumes. Thank you for understanding. And I'm not even sure if it's actually back up or not, nor do I really care, as I know that this type of stuff is just within Binance, just a small little problem, but it will be fixed. 
is just a little bit annoying and, and, and I do wonder why it's the case. Why, why is XRP down like that? Uh, then again, XRP Ledger had some issues the day before like we have even covered. And I didn't cover that because I don't like to cover that type of FUD. When at the end of the day, it, it doesn't really, yeah, I guess matter, so to speak. It's not going to really change anything if I update you guys on that because it's, it's in the past, it's past tense. It's nothing that important. It's not going to change the price or do anything like that. I try to focus as much as I can on news where you basically have a benefit, you know, where you can make money off of it. And this type of stuff, for example, the bill is so detrimental to your wealth if you're in the U.S. that I also could not go around covering it. Ripple v. SEC, XRP proponent confidently tells Fox that Ripple will get a settlement. I'm just kind of amazed by BitBoy. I mean, BitBoy's going around the entire world here, basically saying to people that he has an inside source that believes that XRP is going to freaking skyrocket in October, even September, I believe the settlement was going to happen, right? But I'm still waiting. I believe September, BitBoy said, we're going to have some settlement. Yeah. I mean, September went by, October went by, November is now going by. Still didn't have a settlement just quite yet. His inside source definitely wasn't the best of the best. Um, but it's funny to me how he keeps shouting around that he has an insider and a source that keeps telling him all this stuff when, I don't know. Let's not waste too much time on that, though. All right, Coinbase makes Shiba Inu crypto available to New York residents. Good stuff, right? If you're a Shiba Inu holder, this is nice. Otherwise, nobody gives a crap. Um, make Shiba Inu available to New York residents after adding sheep trading pairs. Just good stuff. Not too crazy, but I guess just good. Then, I covered VeChain in a video earlier today, but I actually did not get to covering this part. Uh, POA 2.0 will launch on Mainnet November 16th. I didn't even cover this. Who am I? What is going on? Right? How could I be lacking this much? Yeah. So, POA 2.0 is coming. I'm in about a week and a little bit from now. I'm actually changing my seating positions as well while I'm recording. Sorry if you hear the every single time. It's just me being hyper a little bit. Because I'm hyped up for the news that just came around and the, the, because of the fact that we just had some very juicy trades, everybody. And when you get a juicy trade like that, I don't know, I get hyper, I get hyped up, I want to do some. I'm going to gonna maybe hit the gym or something. It's uh, middle of the night, but who cares, right? It's, it might even be 1 a.m. by the time you're watching this. Yeah, I'm going to hit the gym. I'm going to do something like that. Woo! Because we're hyped up, boys. Boys and gals, we're hyped up, making some good profit, making some good, good, good trades right now. And I'm specifically happy because I called it out a couple of hours ago, and people are calling me out for, for calling it an urgent update. This is why I call it urgent update. Because you got to be there or be square. When I'm telling you I'm trading something, be there or be square. So have those notifications to freak on on this channel. It's worth it sometimes. It's worth it sometimes. We don't miss. We have, I think we made one wrong trade out of like 20 over the last couple of weeks here. We've been doing really good. Really, really good. And I'm happy with this. I'm really, really happy with this. All right, then Shiba Inu is actually, again, still the subject of a lot of debate. As right now, the freaking poll of getting it listed on Robinhood is going so trending. It has hit 500,000 signatures, which is huge. And it's now the leading request on change.org. 500,000 people have signed to get Shiba Inu listed on Robinhood. Why? Because everybody knows Shiba Inu will get some crazy gains going the moment in which this happens. So yeah, people are hyped up. And even I would tell you, sign it. You know, why not? Because if it's get listed, it's easy, easy gains. And that's also one of the main reasons why I still have Shiba. I'm never selling all my sheep because it can still go crazy. I still believe that. Even though I wouldn't say go buy it right now. But I will tell you, yeah, it's, it's one of that I'm just holding to the bitter end to see what's going to happen. You know, Let's see what's going to happen. Cannot really go too wrong with it because I just spent a little bit of money on it, buying it. And right now the value is so crazy much that I'm like, nah, t taking my investment out of it already. Taking even more than my initial investment out. Uh, I think about f 17 times my investment I've taken out or so. Still have a lot of money in there. Gonna let it ride to the freaking top. Let's see what's gonna happen. Let's see what's gonna happen. If it goes wrong, <laughs> okay, it goes wrong. If it goes well though, let's make a million bucks off of Shiba now, huh? Or something like that. I don't know. It could definitely happen. I'm excited for it. And then there's just the charts. But yeah, things are looking good. Things are looking good. Things are looking good. And people often like to mock me for it. Now, strongest resistance point for XRP right now at $1.17. Again, you can see that's our previous stop we gotta take out right now. On the short term, just gonna be honest with you here on the way I see it right now. Uh, on the short term, it's looking like we're actually going down. And downside is the more prominent area to go towards. However, if we look back and take two steps back, we're seeing that the altcoin market cap is still in an extremely bullish position like I've been screaming for a little bit. So everything you see with XRP here should be taken out um, of context a little bit, knowing that the, the market is bullish. So what we're seeing right now is a little bit of a bearish sort of micro cycle in a bullish longer and, and bigger cycle. 
And actually, it's only intraday, right? As this is the 4th of November here uh, to about today. It's only two days now that we've been going down for, which actually means to me, hey, let's look for a good buying opportunity and go long again because the bigger market is bullish and people are selling right now in a very bullish market. So we got to look for opportunities to buy rather than sell. When there's blood in the streets, I don't know well, how further on goes, but you buy the freaking coins and buy the freaking dip. That's all I need to know, I guess, for right now. All right. That was it for this video. Make sure you join my team over on Bybit. A link is down below. There's right now some crazy bonuses. Also, make sure you join the Telegram, of which a link is down below too. And I'm crazy hyped up, crazy excited for the future of crypto, guys. I'm freaking hyped up. Woo! It's a good day. It's a very good day. I'm going to do something fun. I don't know what I can do in the middle of the night, but I'll see. And thank you guys all for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe for more and have the notification bell on so you never miss out on anything anymore.